We've been looking through the book by Paul Hajek of Clutton Cox, a fantastic conveyancing guide which you can get absolutely free from the website cluttoncox.co.uk. Well worth going there and downloading this book. Now, this bit is about radon gas. It's a great chapter in the book because who really thinks about radon gas and what it's got to do with conveyancing? Now, radon gas is naturally occurring radioactive gas. It's found in uranium in rock strata beneath the earth, particularly prevalent in areas with granite bedrock. The problem is you can't see it, feel it or touch it. It may actually increase the risk of certain types of cancer. But of course it's only one of several factors of that type of illness and it's difficult to single radon gas out as the main cause of cancer. But your conveyancing solicitor will tell you when you're buying a new home whether it's in an area likely to be affected by radon gas. This information we revealed as one of the standard inquiries asked of a local authority. There are traces in most parts of the country but there are higher than average instances which are found in counties such as Cornwall, Devon and Somerset. If you're also buying a house in Bristol Bath or Cotswolds, these areas are also affected by radon gas but are usually within permitted levels. Wales and Pennine districts are also other areas to note. There is a helpful radon gas map from the Department of Rural and Food Affairs, DEFRA, and you can find that by searching radon gas in the UK and DEFRA should get you there on Google. There's also a helpful and question and answer page on the Health Protection Agency's website which explains about radon gas and it's also going to be found on the independent Radon Gas Council website as well. Now the good news is you can test the property and take relatively inexpensive countermeasures to radon gas. The type of countermeasures include increasing the subfloor ventilation. Now if your home was built after 1988 Additional subfloor ventilation would have been constructed by the builders as it forms part of the NHBC requirements. If your home was built prior to 1988, you can still install monitoring equipment which will judge levels of radon, usually over a nine month period. Now, will radon gas affect the ability to sell your home? It's unlikely to do so, even when your property was built before 1988. Now, the time tank to monitor is usually the reason why most people wouldn't bother. It's just such a long time. It will always be possible for a buyer to have works done at their expense, unless the seller agrees to pay for it, of course, after completion has taken place. But in any case, if you've got any anxieties, a test is the only sure way of discovering. But your convincing solicitor will also be able to help you with their local knowledge. So if you're worried about radon gas, simply get in touch with your conveyancing solicitor or one with extremely specialist knowledge like Paul Hajek's team at Clutton Cox. Don't forget, go to cluttoncox.co.uk, grab the free conveyancing guide there just by simply popping in your email address.